I decided to take a trip up to Angel Fire from Albuquerque. I drove north up to Taos, made a right-hand turn, drove into the mountains. I arrived in Angel Fire, and then I drove nine miles north in the Moreno Valley to Eagle Nest Lake, where I was able to find a campsite and waited for a thunder and lightning storm to pass through. After that petered out, I went back to Angel Fire, checked out the ski resort, some of the residential areas up there. It's just a, an amazingly beautiful valley up in the Rockies. And then uh, the next morning, I woke early and drove to Red River, a little alpine town called Red River, and they have a ski resort there also. And then it was really early, so I decided to drive down to Quest and up into Lower Colorado, and then finally back all the way back to Albuquerque. So this is what happened to me on my trip. I hope you enjoy. Coming into Angel Fire, New Mexico. Just a beautiful day and we're gonna have some thunder and lightning later. Yahoo! 8,240 feet. Angel Fire and behind me is the ski resort. And this is just a beautiful place and you would never know I'm in New Mexico. It's actually the Southern Rockies. Taos is not too far away, but what a gorgeous place. So I'm gonna go explore. I'm gonna try to find a place to uh, stay for the night. And um, then I'm gonna head to Red River later on. So stay tuned. We got a storm approaching. It looks like thunder and lightning in the distance coming this way. So I gotta go find a, a camp spot. I'm gonna go down to Eagle Nest Lake to the state park and see if I can get a camp spot for the night. There's gotta be somebody, female, that loves to do this. I'm walking down to Eagle Nest Lake. And these are 12,000 the almost 13,000 foot peaks all around me. But it's really cool out. I love this weather. This actually beats Hawaii. So I am told that's Baldy Peak by these fine gentlemen right there. What's your name? Rufus Coomer. Rufus Coomer. This is Jerry Boggs. Hi, Jerry Boggs. So the town of Angel Fire sits at 8,600 feet and the ski resort there is where a lot of the Olympic skiers train. So it's, I'm going to come skiing here next winter. It's a very cold valley though. I mean, much colder than Taos. And, uh, but it's just gorgeous here. I've never been up here and I have to tell you, man, hair is getting a little long. Oh well. picking up now so I'm gonna get inside the van and I'm gonna film from inside the van this storm it should be a lot of fun love this stuff mmm some Well, as the rain started, I uh, took a nap, fell asleep to the raindrops on my van and dozed off. And when I awoke from my slumber, the storm had petered out. It moved east. Anyway, so I decided to come back to Angel Fire about 10 miles south for where I'm staying at Eagle Nest and check out the ski resort and the town and um, give you a little information about Angel Fire. It's really beautiful. It's still pretty undeveloped, and I don't know why it's not a major Drive skier. Up this road, not a lot of parking up here. They got a parking lot down below, but you can see the ski runs. They go up there, and then it goes way up there. And I don't know, it's about 1,500 feet in elevation. Um, doesn't it looks like an intermediate ski area? 
and they got homes all over the side of the hills and I'm going to take a quick drive around and check out some of the homes. But this is Angel Fire. And again, my rig. So Angel Fire got its name from the Utes Indian tribe who were here in the summer and fall and uh, gave the name Fire of the Gods because the sky would turn red against Aquafria Peak. But back in 1954, Roy and George LaBus from Wichita, Texas, bought the property and then they bought a, an additional 9,000 acres and decided in 1960 to turn it into a resort area. So the Texans kind of own this land and all the valley down below, all the way down to Eagle's Nest. And they've developed it into a really beautiful resort. Uh, not huge, but it's big enough. And they have it's just lush green valleys with huge mountains all around. So that's where Angel Fire is. So I'm driving up to the top of the ski resort up this really well-maintained dirt road in my camper van. No problems. And it's dotted with lots for sale and some gigantic homes up here spread throughout the woods. So I'm hoping to get to the top of the resort so I can give you a view of the valley. Let's see where this road goes. So it appears I'm almost to the top of the mountain and I came up this dirt road and I'm gonna continue up this dirt road. But I wanted to show you just a house just up in the middle of nowhere but it's not just a house. Check this out. It's a mansion. There's the valley down below. You can see how, how high up I am. But look at this house. Just built on the side of the mountain. I mean, I, who would want to come up, come up here in the winter? What a mess. Anyways, there's my van. Let's continue on, see where this road goes. For sale, right there, lot 105, and this is your forest, and there's nobody up here, but it's a beautifully maintained road, very smooth, uh, winter time might be tough, but the ski resort's right up there, I'm right on the side of the ski resort, that's the peak, but you can see how lush the forest is, and I'm sure it's full of wildlife. Oh, speaking of wildlife. At the start of this video, it might appear that I was attacked by a mountain lion. Well, that wasn't the case. I was actually walking through the forest, holding my phone in my hand like I am now, and a moth or a bug hit the palm of my hand and it might drop my phone. So I just thought I would tease you a little bit. And I'm up here all alone. And I'm sure there's bear and mountain lions around, so I'm getting back in my van and headed back down. There's the town of Red River coming down. It's about 8,600 feet. Oh, let's go check it out. Ski Resort, Red River Ski Resort. I'm at Red River Base Lodge Ski Resort. And the town is just gorgeous. A beautiful alpine town built by the Texans, of course, here in New Mexico. So driving down from the base lodge, I'm coming into uh, the town. There's the ski patrol office. And I think I'm gonna go right here. 
New Mexico keeps on surprising me. There's a lift. And it's 6 a.m. here and it's 38 degrees, 39 degrees. Let's get into a better part of the town, a cuter part of the town. So we're headed kind of east. Back towards Angel Fire at the moment. And then we're gonna head on down to Cuesta. And I may drive out the Colorado border. God, I have a hard time in the morning. There's all sorts of lodging in this town. So that's looking west. Let's go on east. There's the ski resort up there. The sun is now rising. Looks like some nice rigs to go cruising around in. It's just full of lodging and restaurants and shops and there's nobody around. June 3rd, Wednesday. Looks like a ghost town, but it's not. Sign of the times. Look, a stealth camper. In the... Nice van. Cool river. Just outside the town of Red River. As you can see up there, there's some kind of mining plant here. And they just like tore the mountain away. It's so beautiful up here. And then you see something like this where mankind has, has to tear up the earth. I don't know what they're mining here, but maybe it's a needed resource. Look at that mountain. Strip clean. And then over here you have pristine forest. 